Hello and welcome to Let's Play Blue Stinger. I'm Intron Stu, and today with me is Very Technique. And today we're going to be examining the Hello Market. The Hello Market has basically the shopping center of Kimra Island, and right here we have another purple shirted enemy. And we're just not going to bother him. Not at all. The music definitely makes you want to go shopping. I want to shop for everything. Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday! Let's join in the Happy Market Christmas Stop Rally now! Walk all over the store! Pin Pin Tina! Pin Pin Sparky! Taco Pin Sneak! Toto Pin Buck! Collect all four stamps! When you collect all four stamps, you can purchase great items with a special discount on the second floor! So, to get access to the second floor, we need to collect all the stamps in the shop, and wouldn't you know it, it's just behind a bunch of locked doors. I get the first one here. Merry Christmas, and let's challenge the stamp! Happy, happy holiday! My name is Pen Pen Sparky! Thanks for getting me! Vending machines are not good at spell. They are very bad at spelling. So, um, here we have a new item that wasn't available before. It's a uh, dachshund. It's completely sold out in this machine, and I grab a couple of hassies just because we're going to take some damage. This is a big area. So, it, it's really best to avoid those birds because once once you get past that little section, grab the, the stamp and then whatever you need from that vending machine, then they're just not going to bother you anymore. They won't respawn if you kill them, but they're just out of your way, so it's just a big hassle to go after them. Birds don't drop money, do they? No, they don't, so it's not even worth the ammunition. And I stopped to take a look at that um, emergency shutter because they just, um, later on it's going to become important. You're not going to know it until you get there, but those emergency shutters, you need to know the numbers on them so that you can open them up later. And it's going to cause you to backtrack if you're not aware that it's coming up. And right here we have a stronger version of the basic humanoid monster. There's some definite kind of like mutation going on. And it's strong enough to take down Heliot in two hits. And it spews up a bunch of money. Is he harder than the purple shirt? Well, he takes more health uh, generally and he does a lot more damage so it's, it's best to just kind of take him down and, or stay out of his way depending on what you want to do. And I do run around for money a lot because it's it's really scarce, it's hard to get, so I just grab it when it's available. Climbing on tables like you give no fucks. Hey, what's wrong? I, I get this fit once in a while. Hey Devlin. Where's the key to the freezer warehouse? Can't you see? He's sick! Vice manager, Roland, <coughs> got a key! Where's your medicine? Doxin. Doxin? Is that the name of your pills? Uh, at the pharmacy stand. So we have 42 minutes to get this man his medicine, and his medicine is the medicine that was sold out up in the front of the store. Where is the only available means of getting Doxin? Why, it's on the second floor, of course. So, we have to get all the stamps to get this man his medicine. And this is pretty much a really difficult part of the game if you're trying to avoid enemies, because the hallways just aren't big enough to get through without any real problems with the enemies. So it's best to just rush them and just start beating them up. And the enemies spew out coins in like a single point. If when an enemy is defeated, it you just start charging forward and walking like trying to clip through it then you'll collect most of the coins on their way up before yeah. they have a chance to spill out everywhere and get too far out of your way. So, there's that. That is a very useful tip. Especially later on when 
a lot of, um, well, there are a couple scenarios where, like, coins can just fly off the edge and you won't have a chance to collect them at all. Uh, back there was always a Hassie, which was basically a replenishing of all the health I lost getting to it. And at some point, I said that the auto targeting of this uh, game was good. I, I lied. <laughs> that bird was right there, and it just did not detect the bird at all. But it's okay because I needed to shoot off a single round to be able to reload my clip. I do that a couple of times. It's because there is no reload button. You just have to fire off a round to make it reload. So it's sometimes easier to just burn through a burn through it to reload it than wait until you're in the middle of an enemy and then have it shot once or twice and then have it charge at you. It seems like that could be useful before a, a boss fight. We can't quite get what's back here. I remembered it about halfway through the hallway, so I took a step back. Um, and these halls are very dark. It's it's kind of hard to navigate, especially with the um, the camera behind Elliot and not looking at the map. The map usually isn't that useful. And it's hard to tell, but there are some birds right there. And right above that one bird is an advertisement for Hassie. It's this universe's Pepsi. It I, I like the little details like that. The little um, advertisements laying around. It it's it kinda builds some atmosphere. There's not enough of it, but it's it's a nice touch, especially on a game like this. Yeah, yeah. it is pretty neat. Yeah. Um these magazines of arrows a magazine of arrows is a pretty curious thing. And bad camera angles kind of it's trapping us behind there. Um, the magazines of arrows are very useful for later on when you're dependent upon them. Yeah. I thought it meant it was time yeah. to use dogs. Oh, no. Not unless but dogs is any better at pushing boxes. <laughs> because that's what we have, a box pushing puzzle. This is the part where we need the codes to open those emergency shutters, because we need to push these boxes around to get to the emergency shutter setup thing right up there at the top. And by gum, this is the hardest box pushing puzzle yet, because we have to push two whole boxes. Now that bank card that we got, that belonged to a guy named David. Yeah, if we looked at the work schedule, we would have seen that David was uh, inside of this area uh, examining that fire shutter. We're going to need his name to be able to use his bank card later on. And steal all of his Christmas bonus. Well, you know, he's not using it. <laughs> Came down with a clinical case of the dead. The emergency shutter is now activated. Please enter the number of a shutter you would like to deactivate. Shutter number 0030 is now deactivated. The emergency shutter is now activated. Please enter the number of a shutter you would like to deactivate. Shutter number 0050 is now deactivated. I'm assuming you had to push that second box because the first box was too tall by a half inch. Yeah, if, if Elliot can't like hump a keypad to use it, then you know, he's just not satisfied. Really, he would have been at perfect level in the first box, but you know, I don't know. Elliot's a very curious man. Um, and the first time I played this game through, that was something that I missed. And even with this generous time limit of 42 minutes to get through, um, I still managed to clear it with maybe like 12 minutes left, even with all the backtracking to the room to look at the shutter doors and get their numbers again. So it wasn't that much of a hindrance, it's just kind of a fuck you. And really, if you're looking at your map and you see those doors, you th you'd think that there's a way of opening them that just required pushing a button. Instead, it's a bit more advanced, which is, I guess, something for this game, considering the time it came out. It's not just a, a button puzzle. So why can't you drink all that milk sitting on that shelf for a full heal? 
Elliot does not like milk. I actually these hassies are energy drinks or something to that effect. They're not just Pepsi's or Colas. They're like more like a Red Bull. And I take the long way around the store. It's kind of a bad idea. If I went to the left right here, I wouldn't have had to deal with these birds. I could have just kind of walked all around him and wouldn't have had a problem at all. Are there any pickups back there? Nope, not a single one. So you're just wasting all your ammo. Yep. On some of these shelves, it looks like there's some Sega systems up for sale. I, I can't quite determine which one, but it definitely looks like a system that I've seen before. It actually seems like a way for clever advertising. Gotcha. Well, it would have been for a prior Sega system, so it would be like the Mega Drive. Um, yeah, we ran out of ammo, so we have to use the bow gun. The bow gun is slightly stronger than the, uh, the standard handgun. What a whore. <laughs> Sparky is just staring at her on the stamp card. <laughs> Sparky knows what he wants. He, d he doesn't want much, but he knows what he does want. Um, the card key that we picked up next to Devlin was the gun shop key. And we're going to take a brief venture inside. I'm gonna show off the entire store, but I'm not gonna show off all the vending machines because some of the weapons we'll find later and some of the weapons, well, if I show them off all now, then that'll just ruin the fun. But right here we see we got an axe, a club, and a sumo t-shirt. And we're just a couple coins short of the sumo's t-shirt, so we're gonna have to go and grab that. Now I'm wondering what's stopping you from taking those guns off the top shelf. We are respectable citizens, and thievery is beyond us. After a giant meteor hit a planet, or an island, rather. Well, we have our morals. Dogs doesn't seem to have any morals at all. Well, Elliot would probably slap his hand. You just shot his head off, and he is still running at you. Yeah, decapitating an enemy is actually a really bad idea, because as soon as you do that, they just start attacking rapidly. Or at least that's what it's been in my experience. So, having this guy swinging at Elliot was a very dangerous proposition here. It did look like you knocked the head off one of the other enemies, but I wasn't too sure. Yeah, I took one of his one of the green shirts head off along with his arm. But now we have enough money to be a respectable citizen and purchase our sumo t-shirts like normal people. Does that sumo t-shirt make dogs really fat? Well, I like to think it does. Well, dogs learns through wearing shirts, you see. He's like Kirby except shirts shirts instead of swallowing. Yes, but that's about it for this episode, so uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.